Good morning. I just got into my studio and before I really get to work on what I have planned for today, I wanted to show you guys around because you've seen it in the backgrounds, but it might be a good idea to show you what the space I work in looks like, kind of what I've got going on, some older projects that I'm just sitting around. So let's take a look. So this is my little cubby hole. You can see some drawings that I have up just to announce myself to the world. And as you walk in, I always hang my coat up right here next to all of the old stuff that I've done from the previous year that's hanging up the wall. We have screen prints, paintings, quilts, crochet, weavings, posters, everything I've done, oh, I've done over the past year. So it's kind of a little last to the past. But below that, we have lots of yarn. Let me just move this out of the way. Lots of yarn. We have my little stack of books and more yarn, more supplies, knitted sleeves that I picked up secondhand, more little containers for stuff. I actually bought some fabric to start working on a new piece later today. But other than that, just full of art supplies. We have old sculptures, these milk cartons that you saw in my previous video. They haven't really done much since, but they're here whenever I need them. Next to this large drawing, this is like the draft of something that I might use with this fabric. Just think like a large skinned armchair with a doily on it. I know that sounds a little bit creepy, but you might be able to see what I'm thinking of. I always keep some paper on me, so I have this large roll of paper a doily that I made last year, um, an old sculpture piece that is a large lace room divider. And I just keep this right here as background material. Here's my lovely view of the nasty, nasty scaffolding. And then all my little bits and bobs. Some more milk cartons, my cutie plants, some holiday cards, and then a pile of papers and stuff. But this is where all the real work happens on this desk. I just broke in a new sketchbook and was able to do the first page. Now I'm just working on some more notes and things. So this is a brand new sketchbook. I have my laptop, a bunny that I crocheted for my dissertation. And then I'm always working on some crochet projects. So for right now, it's this, the start of this doily. And I don't know why, but I always pick so, such time intensive projects. I think that's just the nature of the material, but I'm using thread that's so skiddy. It just takes freaking forever to do, but that's the name of the game. I have my cute little to-do list here. I always start off each day with a little to-do list. I'm almost out of these barren fig ones. I might move over to this weekly planner, which I've already filled out a little bit in the past two years, but it's basically, just an extended version of this weekly to-do list with some a little bit extra paper. So I might end up using that soon. Um, and this is a brilliant weekly scheduler, and this is from Baron Fig, the Mastermind Week Pad, which I love. Other than that, we have some old paint sticks meant for children that I end up drawing stuff like this in and stuff like that down there. We have some crochet patterns. This is what I'm crocheting right here. And we also have some new Birkenstocks that Adam got me for Christmas. So these are kind of my studio shoe and they're really comfy too. So I can just flip them on, work in my studio, walk around, just do what I gotta do. Today my plan is to work on some CMYK separations for a screen print project that I want to do. I want to take this pattern, this paper pattern, and actually scale it to size so then I have something to cut the fabric with. 
I want to crochet some more. Um, let's see what else. And then obviously I have to draw. I can't not be in the studio and not draw. So come with me as I do a little day in my studio. Gideon, don't go down the hill. Well, there's tape. Back this way. I, it needs to be... I don't want it to be super colorful because I want it to be like water still. Yeah. Like the one I made my parents is nice, but it's a little color. Not that there's anything wrong with colorful, but I want it to be like... Looks like people need more color. I know, people do. <laughs> is that chewy? Not like, not actually like put the canoe in it. But like, I could have like tentacle like shapes in the water as an homage. <laughs> as to, an homage to the Kraken. I know. The circumstance. You both decided to do the same senior project together. I like asked, so I was like, do you think we would have met each other? If you were when you said no. Oh, where are you going? Oh, she wants the treats. <laughs> hey girls, what's going on? Lunchtime snacks. <gasps> Do you see them kitchen?
I'm almost done with my Seam YK print. I've gotten the cyan, the magenta, and the yellow layers printed. So now it's time to do the black. Here's what it looks like without the black layer. It just needs that little, that little oomph to pull it all together. The prints turned out really good. I did all four layers today, so it's pretty quick. Um, I haven't gone through yet, so I don't know what size the addition will be, but I have a few really good ones and of course some mistakes, but what's new? It's print making. Okay, I just got all the prints from yesterday. Everything's nice and dry and they look so good. Let me do a little close-up. There are a few bits where there was a little bit of misregistration or um, there are parts where I accidentally left a little bit of tape on the screen, but no one's ever going to know. So I'm just going to go through and pick the best versions of these, put them into a little addition, sign, and be good to go. It's like here's a misprint where I had some ink bleed where it shouldn't have been bleeding, as well as some mistakes um, where I didn't cover things up in time. But then there are also tiny little issues like this bit right here where a piece of tape ended up covering one of my layers. But again, if you're really not looking for stuff like this, you'll never find it. I think this is probably the best print that I had. It's pretty, pretty good registration, no mistakes. So this probably will be my number one. But I just love the magic of screen print. Like this looks like a photograph. But if you zoom in really closely, you see all sorts of baby dots. And when you break it apart, it's just four separate colors all merging in your eye, in your brain. 